When you get to the part of geometry where you have anything that's being squared, especially with the Pythagorean theorem, you have to go back and remember how to simplify square roots. I'm going to show you two ways of simplifying square root of 84. We'll call this method 1 and method 2. So method 1 is using the prime factors. So you're going to take whatever is you're taking the square root of and you're going to find the prime factors. So I'm going to start with 2 and 2 goes into 84 42 times. So I'm just going to keep factoring and I'm going to circle the numbers that are prime. So I'm going to say this is 2 times 21 and 2 is prime. 21 is not but I can break it up into 3 times 7. So using method 1 what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my prime factors underneath my square root. So I'm going to say this is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And then I'm going to say, well, what's my invisible number here? And since it's a square root, I could write a 2 in there. It's implied. So I want to group my terms in squares. So I'm going to say that 2 times 2 is 2 squared. I don't have another 3 to group the 3 with, and I don't have another 7 to group the 7 with. And the square root of 2 squared, well, if these 2's match, then your base is going to come out. So this is kind of a trick. It's not very technical. But if something is being squared in a square root, your base is going to come out. So that 2 comes out. So now we're done with that term. And we're left with 3 times 7, which I can say is 21. So this me method will always work. It's not very technical because you're not understanding why this base term comes out. The reason it comes out is because taking the square root is the same thing as raising it to the power of one half. So when you have a power to a power, remember from algebra, you have to multiply them. So you actually have two times one half, which is one. So you're saying that this is two to the first times three to the one half times seven to the one half. And the one half power is a square root. So that's the reason why this method works. Method two. Method two says if you're great at factoring in your, in your head, what you can do is you can write the square root of 84, and then you have to ask yourself, well, what's a square number that will multiply into 84? So by square number, I'm talking about 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, all of those numbers. And I see that I can write this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 21. The reason why this works is because when you have a square root being multiplied by a square root, you can multiply the numbers inside, and 4 times 21 is 84. And then you can say, well, the square root of 4 is just 2, and the square root of 21 I can't factor anymore, and there is no whole number square root. So your answer is 2 times the square root of 21. So notice that method 2 uses a little bit less room. It's probably a little more time efficient, but if you are not confident in your factoring, you can do the prime factors and use method 1.